Alright everyone, I'm headed out to the beach. This is my second hunt after the uh, hurricane. There's quite a bit of sand gone on portions of the beach, so I'm going to go out here. I've actually taken an afternoon off from work. I'm going to go out here and see what I can find. Um, I was with the kids the other day, so um, they were having fun. Um, they're not with me today. They're in school, but anyway, so I'll get out here and see what I can find. I'm sure I'll have fun. Alright, I'll see you at the first find. Well, it's a weekday in October, so there's not a lot of people out here. But I think with the hurricane, it's exposed to a lot of stuff. I did find a lot of stuff. Hopefully you've seen that video by now. I posted it a couple of days ago when I was out here. I was out here on Sunday. But, um, yeah, the, the wind doesn't seem to be as bad. So hopefully I can get some audio and show you some of the damage. Uh, they got the crews out here cleaning up. So a lot of, a lot of limb debris and stuff like that. But out here on the beach, a lot of the boardwalks are destroyed on the end. So I'll show you some of that. Well, right there, got one guy on the beach with a mine lab. He's got the 17 inch coil. Did that area pretty hard Sunday, so I'm gonna skip right over. I'm sure he's fine and stuff. The beach is just too big out here for one person to even cover. So that's the first time I've seen a detectorist on this beach. Well, I've walked quite a ways. Haven't seen any big holes. So that guy hasn't been down this way. All the docks are gone. The ones that were piled up after they uh, got washed down, they were along that edge over there. So, um, but you can see how far out this one is. They used to be surrounded by the dunes. All right. Hopefully I see it the first time. I'm gonna walk on down. First target's a dime. Yep. The target was deep, at least nine, ten inches. And it's another dime. Well, I got two nuts like that so far and they both gave great ring sounds. Well, down in the hole, big old fishing weight. I think it might be a ring. Look, right there. Oh, quarter. So, uh, I'll take a quarter. It's a quarter, too, so it's not that old. Huh. That's some good signals. I think the, uh, the VDI may be uh, up a little bit because of the salt. This is another 13.45 and I thought it was a quarter and I started to grab it. I don't really think it is. <laughs> that can't be what was down in there. I guess it could be, but let me see. Well, they got these guys cleaning up all the old boardwalks and docks off the uh, beach. You can see some of the destroyed ones down there. They're just going up the beach and hauling them off. So, actually it's quite a bit of good wood, so I hope nobody wanted to rebuild their, uh, their boardwalks with it. Well, right there where my foot scraped the ground is the best jewelry signal I've had today. So, hopefully you can hear me the big equipment right here. I don't know what that is. Well, in that hole down there, 1994 quarter. 
I've walked a long ways. I got quite a few coins. I'm gonna keep on going down further. Well, right there where that shell is, there's a 1050. I don't know what that's like going on. Quarter. I'm giving all kinds of weird signals today. Looks like a quarter. Yep. Well, that's a boardwalk right there, and there's a ton of sand gone. So it's the 12:15. I didn't lie, dig it, but uh, it's a ring or an earring right there. Oh yeah, it's a ring. Hot dog and a wedding ring. Might be white gold too. Uh oh. That's white gold wedding ring. Yeah. Oh, I think this is platinum. Oh, it's a platinum ring. 950F something. Oh, cool platinum ring. I've never found a pla platinum ring before. That's awesome. So this is a high tone photo of the uh, pool tower. Uh, nope. It's a quarter. That is strange. It's quarter. It's an older eagle quarter. Things were 1205. Huh, see if anything might be a nickel down there for a lot of them. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. That's strange. 1205. Well, this one was jumpy a little bit down in that hole. But, uh, I think it's a little ring. Oh, yep, yeah, sure is. A toe ring. See how it's split at the bottom? So it went around a toe. It's very thin, no wonder it was jumpy. That may even be silver. Who knows, I'll clean it up and I'll let you know. Yeah, uh, right there is 1203 and I got it with a pinpointer and just scooped it a little bit. I think it's another ring. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. That. I don't know what kind it is. A little band. I don't feel any decoration on it. Ah, oh, the screen on my thing's working again. Small, so I can't see a uh, can't see a mark on it, but it's probably gold. Could even be platinum. I don't know. Platinum was a 1215. This is a 1203. I bet that's uh, gold or something. All right, I'll find out later, and I'll let you know. All right, I thought this was a zinc penny at first. I'm not sure what it is. There it is, right there. It's not a penny. It is a piece of junk, <laughs> but it's not a penny. I'm not sure what that is. This is a weird sound, so I dug it. Toy airplane. Oh. Well, way down in that hole. This disc. It's got a hole in it. It's kind of tagged one time. It comes up as like a 1241. I don't know if it's silver or not. So this is a low tone. It is, not sure. Well, I think it's a junk ring. Yeah, pretty sure that's what that is, the junk ring, it's all corroded. Yep, almost positive. Well, down on that hole, I thought it was a pull tab, but it's an earring, just a cheap one. I'll take it. I don't even have a design on it, I'll clean it up and show you in a picture. The low tone, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe the instruction. Yeah, sunglasses, I think. Uh, some kind of handle. Yep, a little down handle. Been in that hole, got an earring or a ring on. It's kind of bent up. I think it's an earring. Or a pendant, that's left to something. <laughs> I 
All right, got some jewelry today. Definitely got some copper in it. I see the uh, copper leaching out. All right, Devin, let's haul this off for a second. It's a gold band. Look at that. <laughs> My dog. Cool. Well, that's pretty cool. I found that first platinum ring in one of those holes. And that gold ring was right there. And I found all the rings down to that first um, boardwalk coming down. So I'm going to have to get going in a minute. It's a shame, too, because I've only done, you can see my tracks, because I, I drag my feet to mark where I've been. So I can kind of grid it off. And I have only, like, been one, two, three, four, five, six swipes. And I think that one over there is only half, because they were working down there. So I'll give it a couple more, and i got to get out of here, because I've got to walk a good ways in the parking area closes at six. Otherwise, i got to drive over to bushes. All right, everyone, i got to get going. I don't know if you can see for the sun, but way down around that curve is where i got to get going. Got about a half hour to get there. And, uh, man, what a day. Platinum, gold, and I'm pretty sure silver. So, I'll let you know on the roundup. That's an awesome beach day for sure. So, I'll show you what I got. I know there's a lot more here, but I'm running out of time for today. Go down here and rinse my machine off. My hands and my feet. Cleanse the sand. Alright, I might shoot a little more video as I go up the beach. Well, this screen on this Nikon AW110 is in and out. It's out again. But anyway, I did, uh, I think about 12,000 steps while I was out here. I am. I don't know, maybe I got 5,000 more to go. Depending on how far I have to go down there. Maybe not that many in a half hour. But, uh, Man, it's been a great day. I wish I could stay out here all night. There's a ship rope. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can't tell. There's no screen. Conditions at this beach are great for metal detecting right now. I'll tell you that. I don't think I've ever found that many rings in one day. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll keep quick gabbing. Show you a little bit of the scenery as it goes by. I'm going to pick my pace up a little bit. Alright, shut you down for now. Alright everyone, welcome to the wrap up. Here's what I got. I got 19 quarters. I got 20 dimes. I got um, 9 nickels. And 10 copper pennies. 10 zinc pennies. It's a few pieces of trash. This is a clamshell, or I guess called clamshell weight. One of those crimp on weight, fishing weights. Little washer things. This is actually stainless steel, so I thought it might be silver, but it's not. It's stainless steel. Got this plane. This was actually from the last video, but I hadn't cleaned it up. It's actually a shark. Hopefully you can see that. Yep. That's a shark um, matchbox car. And then I got a junk earring. And I think this is a piece of a ring. It's hard to tell exactly what that is. And got this heart-shaped pendant. It must have zinc in it because it's like a zinc penny on the outside now all crusted got these four stainless steel nuts they just gave great signals got this piercing stud I don't even want to know but that's what that is so got this earring here just a little junk earring um, this might be another earring or like a little clasp for a keychain or something I'm not exactly sure that must have some zinc in it too it's all crusty and here's the good stuff right here Got a platinum ring. Let's see if I can get a picture of the uh, inside marking. Show it to you. Got a yellow gold ring. Says 14 carat IGM. I think IGM. Again, I'll see if I can get you a picture of this one. This ring here is just a little different story. I did do the acid test. It really didn't give me much of a reaction. I'm really, I think this is just a stainless steel ring. There's no markings inside of it. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Since I didn't get a reaction on the, uh, on the acid test. And I got this little toe ring. And I didn't test it, but this wire on the toe ring looks like it's silver. Pretty sure it is silver because when you rub it it cleans up and gets shiny again it's so small it's hard to even show you 
But you can see the way it's tarnished, it's got like silver tarnish on there. Alright, just an update. This ring, as you can see, when you rub it, it does turn shiny. I tested it with the uh, acid test, and it did test for silver. So all the precious metals. So that was a great hunt, and hopefully I can get back out there again and find some more great stuff. And I'll see you at the next hunt.